This could break my all-time best. All-time best, 299, guys. Is it gonna do it? Hey golf people, on this episode we're testing two amazing drivers. This is part of our March driver bracket where we're going to determine the best driver of 2023 for mere mortals like me and like you. Today's contestants are the Titleist TSR and in particular I'm playing the TSR 3. I found this is the best model for me. It's going head to head against a driver that has already had a tough road, just barely beating out the Wilson Dynapower. This is the Srixon ZX5 Mark II. It's a great value driver from a brand that hasn't released a driver in some time. It's gonna be a fun battle, guys. We've got five criteria to judge by. Distance will be worth five points. Accuracy and forgiveness is another five points. Value will be three points. Workability will be one point and aesthetics will be one point. Let's get to work. All right, guys, first test here. We're gonna go with the TSR3 as the first driver. It's got balls with dots on them. That's how we'll know which is which. Here we go, first swing. That ball was off the toe and I think it's gonna end up left side of the fairway, but it was a pretty forgiving result, honestly. Clubhead speed 101, ball speed 147, smash 1.45. Again, for a toe shot, that's pretty amazing. Estimated carry 237, estimated carry and roll 263. Oh, that's a good one again just off the toe a bit, but it landed much more central. Clubhead speed 100, ball speed 147, smash 1.47, even better, again, for a shot off the toe, which I seem to be doing a lot. I'm gonna get a little closer to the ball here. Estimated carry 235, estimated carry and roll 261. I'm gonna move up just a little bit because I gotta hit this one in the center. And I did, oh my goodness. God, it just seemed to explode off the club face, guys. Club speed was down there though. Club head speed 99, ball speed 147, smash 1.47, estimated carry 235, estimated carry and roll 262. We're switching to the Strixon ZX5 Mark II. Now there's a different shaft in this one as well. I've got a hazardous smoke red. This is really the only stock option pretty much here for the Strixon. And I love the shaft that's in that title list. The hazardous counterbalance shaft is a winner. I tested all the different shafts available for the Titleist. That's the one that worked best. Okay, here we go. Srixon, now these balls have no markings on them. That was hit in the middle. That flew high, guys. That flew very high, it looked good. Boy, it'll be interesting to see between those last two shots, which is the better one. The club head speed 100. Ball speed 143, smash 1.43, which seemed low. I'm kind of surprised by that because I feel like I hit it right in the middle. Estimated carry 225, estimated carry and roll 250. I think it's going to be a lot better than that because that got up high in the air. Second shot here. Now that one, I yanked. That's going to be in the woods. <laughs> Ugly swing, guys. I am a mere mortal. Club head speed 101. Ball speed... 144, smash 1.43, estimated carry 228, carry and roll 253. Third one with the Srixon. Better. Kind of like the first title list, it's off to the left a little bit, but it wasn't really off the toe as much, I don't think. Slightly off the toe, but not as much. Anyway. Club head speed 100, ball speed 146, smash 1.46, which is also a good number. Estimated carry 232, estimated carry and roll 258. Whew, it's gonna be fun. We know one ball is in bad shape, but the other ones, it's gonna be really telling, I think, in terms of apples to apples. All right, let's go find out. This is 230, and that there, guys, is that really bad Srixon, and we are, ooh, we are in jail but I think we can chalk that one up to the swinger, not the club. All right, let's check out these other balls. Okay, guys, two of our balls have found the bunker. In fact, they hit up high and then rolled back down. At 244, 245 now, that is a Titleist. And just in front of it, just in front of it is a Srixon. It didn't even update on the Garmin, but let's call it 246 because it's gotta be a yard extra. There you go, 246. All right, guys, now we've got three much better balls here. Here's the first one. 
just slightly right center of the fairway, 258. That's a Srixon. Guys, these are the big ones. We got one here, we got one over there. All right, oh my goodness. This could be record-breaking stuff. My all-time best, 299, just so you know, on this show. I think one of these balls has a chance to do it. This is the Titleist at 293. This could break my all-time best. All-time best, 299, guys. Is it gonna do it? It did. It did. Oh my God, guys. 300 yards. I just set a new personal best. 300 yards here with the TSR3. That means the TSR obviously wins this test, guys. We're heading to test number two. Wow. All right, guys, on this test, I'm looking at workability. How can I move this ball left to right? First up's the Srixon. This category worth one point. First up here is the Srixon. Just a slight, ever so slight bend to it there. Started central, ended right center. Second shot. <laughs> Almost the exact same ball. Started center, ended right center. Switching to the title list now. It should be interesting to see how workable this club is. Ooh. Wow. Well, guys, in terms of workability, kind of shockingly, I think the Titleist is better. In fact, I'm picking the balls up here in the right rough because that had much more bend than I thought they would. The Strixon had a much tighter fade to it. You can definitely work it but the Titleist there is a little bit better. And of course, that's what Tor Pros want. They want workability. One point there for the Titleist. Promise we will not be setting another personal best on this hole because we have turned into the wind. First up here is the Srixon. Good drive there. Real straight. If anything, it might be pushing just a little right. Slight fade, which is interesting. Club head speed 98, ball speed 141, smash 143, estimated carry 220, estimated carry and roll 245. Probably pretty close because we are into the wind. Shot two. Another good one, although that one's left side. Yeah, I guess it's unfortunately, unfortunately probably in the left rough, but not by much. Club head speed 98, ball speed 141, smash 144. Estimated carry 220, estimated carry roll 245. Third and final shot here. Gosh, great trajectory, which is gonna hurt us, honestly, into this wind. It helped us in the last hole, hurt us here. Club head speed 97, ball speed 141, smash 146. Estimated carry 222, estimated carry roll 247. All three of those definitely playable balls for sure. Title is up next. Golly, that feels so good. It's perfect, right? <laughs> it's perfect right down the middle. Club head speed 97, ball speed 145, smash 148, estimated carry 230, estimated carry and roll 255. Guys, I am ready to judge one of the categories, which is aesthetics, looks, feel, sound. In terms of looks, I like the TSR. It's so clean, so classic. It's just black. It's glossy. I do prefer the flat finish of the Srixon, but that's where it ends on the backside. This thing looks really cool, really modern. A little older looking in terms of design. I have a design background. It's such a little thing, it doesn't really matter, but the point is I prefer the looks of the Titleist just a little bit more. In terms of sound, both good sounding drivers. A little bit more pleasant thud there from the Titleist, but really feel-wise, the feel of this Titleist it's the best feeling driver I've felt all year. One point for the Titleist. Second shot here. Now that one, similar to the Strixon, similar to the Strixon, that one's pushed out to the right. Club head speed 96, ball speed 142, smash 147, estimated carry 222, estimated carry and roll 247. Oh boy as good as I can hit a shot. 
Clubhead speed 98, ball speed 143, smash 146, estimated carry 226, estimated carry and roll 251. Let's get them, guys. Guys, surveying the land, we've got one here in the rough. We've got another one that's a little further right. We've got three up there in the fairway, one the left rough over there. Let's find out where these balls finished. That's 226. Again, remember, we are dead into the wind. And that there, guys, what's that, a Strixon? Strixon. The one that's a little longer is the Titleist. Let's see how far along it is. 236. Now, 237, Titleist. I'd have to probably hit the fade shot here. Now, this is a dogleg left, so both those balls on the same line, but the Titleist longer. Coming up to the better balls here. We've got a Srixon at 238. Now that one was hit pretty good as far as I'm concerned. It got up high in the air. And again, I think that might've cost it distance. Over here, we've got what looks to be a Titleist, 236. A little more central here in the fairway though. And our best ball by a long way was a Titleist. Again, dead into the wind, 248. That tells you what this wind is doing from 300 to 248 here today. Well guys, this is a short video, but for me, it's a wrap. It is crystal clear that the TSR3 is our driver moving on. This is almost a clean sweep with only the value category in three points going to the Strixon. When it comes to distance, forgiveness, workability, and aesthetics, all of those go to the Titleist and it's moving into our semi-final bracket. And I've got to say in my mind right now, it seems to be the favorite. But the Ping G430 is a very good driver, as well as the Stealth 2. That's no slouch. And then you've got the Torej Exotics, the Dark Horse, especially in terms of value. It's gonna be a really exciting final four here, guys. I can't wait to see what happens. Here's a playlist here of all of the videos if you need to catch up before the final four, do that. I'll catch you back here real soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.